Um, I am sure that most of us are familiar with composite functions. If you have not watched my previous videos, go through them uh, on this channel, composite function part one, composite functions part two. And I have not really solved difficult questions, tough questions, but I've solved questions that are actually at our level, depending on the courses we are doing and wherever we find ourselves. Uh, composite function is much deeper, but I believe the little things we have done or have treated in these previous videos will be very helpful. And in this one, we are talking, going to talk about or solve some few questions and uh, multiplying, multiplication of functions. Let me say multiplication of composite functions. This time, we do not have the composite sign here, the small circle to produce fork and golf and whatever variables are given to us. But here, the functions are multiplying each other. How do we go about it? How do we um, solve these kind of questions when we meet them? So I would explain what I have here. I have just written down fg of x, gf of x, uh, f of x times g of x. So anytime we see something like this, fg of x simply means the function f of x multiplied by the function g of x. So this dot here is a multiplication symbol. And then if we have g of x, then we are sure that it is simply the function g of x multiplied by the function f of x. So basically, this is how we go about it. We will do other examples or other, I'll work on other videos that we'll, we would try and multiply composite functions. But for now, let's focus on this one. So for instance, um, if we have a function, say, f of x to be equal to um, 2x, and I have another function g of x to be equal to x squared plus 1. Then I can say that if I need fg of x, then it is going to give me f of x multiplied by g of x. So what is f of x? Our f of x is 2 of x. Sorry, 2x. And so we have 2x multiplying um, x squared plus 1 and then we have what we have as a um, we have we produce a result um, 2x cube plus 2x so uh, I can leave my answer here because um, this will be my final answer. There is no need for us to factorize x out. There is no need for us to factorize x out. So, this is how we go about it. We take the first function and the second function given to us. We multiply them to produce a result. But mostly, in books or in our exams or wherever we meet this question, mostly the questions are not given to us this way. Even if they are, they usually give us a value to be substituted for x, any random value that is given to us, such that if I have access to this value, I can substitute those values for x or that particular value for x to find the uh, solution of fg or for x. So let's, this is just an explanation. Let's take one example or some few examples. Um, okay, so what if we have a function f mapping to x giving us 3x? Note that a function can be given in any variable. We can This can be h, this can be p, whatever value uh, variable given to us, but mostly we are conversant with what f and then g. So, and then I have another function g 
of into uh, is to x giving me x minus 3 so then I'm told to find let's assume we are finding um, f g of 3 and g f of 3 so our solution becomes what we need to do is to write this into an equation write the function into an equation so i have f of x consider the first one do not start ahead but straight ahead from this place you need to write it f of x equal to the function given to you 3x then g of x equal to x minus 3 so now that we have this function we can solve then the first question is we should find fg of 3 to be able to do that we first need to find fg of x like we did in the example we did here we need to find fg of x after which we will come back and substitute the value 3 so i would say so let me start the solution on a fresh page so First, I need fg of what? 3. So I'll start fg of x will give us the function f of x multiplied by the function g of x. What is f of x? f of x is 3x. g of x is x minus 3. So we have 3x multiplying x minus 3 so now we are getting 3 this multiplied by this 3x square then the same thing multiplied by this minus um, 9x so this is the function fg of x so now we can now work on the question given to us fg of 3 what will be fg of 3 then fg of 3 will be equal to now x has been substituted as 3 please don't bring this arrow there are some of us <laughs> don't write this arrow perhaps if you are solving something like this in exams don't bring this arrow i'm just using it as an explanation so um let's box on fg of 3 will give us this equation wherever we see x we substitute what 3 so i'll get 3 into bracket 3 all square minus 9 to bracket 3 so this will give me 3 into 9 into bracket 9 minus 27 and this will give me 27 minus 27 which equals 0 so this is giving us 0 now let's move on to the next question we were told to find gf of 3 let's see what we will get for gf of 3 so for gf of 3 first we repeat the same steps so gf of x first i, I repeat you need to find the function of x the function two functions of x solve it whatever answer you produce you come and substitute the value so i'm solving that first it will give me the function g of x multiplying f of x now this is multiplication so we are going to produce the same result we had here but all the way let's do it so we have um the function g of x was given as x minus 3 the function f of x was 3x so now we are getting this times this will give us 3x square minus 9x so now g f of 3 g f of 3 will give us um, 3 into 3 all square minus 9 into 3 so we have 27 minus 27 which will give us 0 so we can say that um, this is our final answer 
So because it is multiplication, we can say that g f of x equals um, f g of what x. We can say that because we produce the same answers. This is not important. So we are just saying it. But if a golf of x will never be equal to fog of x. So if you are conversant with composite function, you realize that golf of x will never be, but gf of x and this will be the same. I'm just using this to explain. Now, this is very simple. So let's see if we can take another example. Let's take another example. So, uh, if we have a function given to us as um, g is to x, giving us, let's say, 1 out of 2x, and then we have h map to x, giving us 1 plus 2x out of 2x minus 1. Now, this is all we have. And we are told to find um, SH H of 2. So this is not Ghana. <laughs> so this is not Ghana. GH. So we would just have to find GH of X, produce an equation and substitute 2. So first my solution become g h of x will give me a g of x function multiplied by the h of x function then i have one out of two x this is the g of x function multiplied by the h of x function which is giving me one plus two x out of two x minus one so now our next step is to multiply the numerators, multiply denominators. So this times everything here will give me 1 plus 2x out of this. And this will give me 4x squared minus 2x. This time this will give us minus 2. So this is what we are getting for gh of x. Now we need gh of 2. So to find gh of 2, then replacing x with 2, I use the equation I have produced. Make sure this equation is correct to be able to produce an, a, a correct answer. So I have 1 plus 2. Wherever I see x, I substitute 2. 2 out of 4, 2 squared minus 2, 2. So we have 1 plus 4. This will give me 4 into 4 minus 4. So I'm going to get 5 out of 16 minus 4, giving me 5 out of 12. So g of 2 would give us 5 out of 12.